What's up, YouTube? It's your boy back again on this Sunday, April someday. I don't know what it is. But uh, today I thought, man, because ain't a lot going on, I ain't doing much. I thought I'd just talk to you guys about how the scrap thing is going on. So I got a whole lot of scrap in the backyard. And it's been a whole lot of new information that I've learned. So I'm going to talk to you guys about that here in just a second, okay? But again, first, if you're new to the channel or if you've been here since the beginning, appreciate you, man. Stay tuned, okay? You already know what to do. I ain't got to say too much. Let's get into this uh, combo, okay? Good sun right there, isn't it? I saw all of the beard up today. So I know y'all seen shimmering. Shining, shimmering. Shining, shimmering. Ah. So, as you guys remember in that last video that I was uh, actually at the scrapyard, I uh, forget the actual name of it, but I'll put it up here. And um, that guy that was there, I don't know if you guys listened to him, but I had to listen to him, especially if I wanted to make a lot of money this summer scrapping. So uh, he taught me and told me a lot of things on how to separate the copper and I can't remember everything. I'd have to go back and watch the video. So should you. But I do remember that it has to be like uh, clean copper is worth like the most. Um, how to cut the coils and get what to take off the coils. You want to take the little steel piece off. I remember that. But um, as far as... Um, the furnaces and you know I don't think I'm gonna scrap those because I do not know and I still haven't learned how to scrap those and plus I don't want them. this just seems like a whole lot of metal I don't feel like it's nothing high price I'm sure it's good money in it but I just don't feel like it's any you know considerably like anything worth doing this uh, type of metal in the system to make it worth doing I just don't see it uh, I mean, you know, maybe the motor has got a little cop in it or something like that, but I mean, it ain't, it's just, what, no, heat exchangers, I mean, everything is just sheet metal and freaking, uh, you know, dumb shit, <laughs> not expensive shit. So, um, anyway, we're just going to do the ACs this full year, and right now I got a ton of them bitches sitting out, uh, in my scrap, in my scrap yard that I'm growing right now, uh, I'm doing my best to, while I'm at the shop, especially on Sundays, days when I'm not very busy, to um, make sure that uh, the, the casing of the condensers and uh, the evaporator coils, I'm not keeping none of that, okay? All that gets thrown away, all the screws and all that. I clean up my mess, but anyway, I throw all that in the dumpster at the shop or in law dumpster. I say I leave it out because scrappers, they come actually to our dumpsters and they pick up scrap that we leave out there. So I uh, I leave that out there, okay? And uh, that way I don't got all that mess at my house. And it's just too much to stack up. I'd rather stack up a whole lot of copper and, uh, than anything and uh, radiators than anything. So uh, I get rid of all that shit. <laughs> Now, right now, we probably got about, uh, I said we probably got about, hey girl. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I said we got about eight. I'm going to show you guys too and I'm, when I get home. Right now, like I said, I'm just at work, but I'm going to show you guys when I get home. But right now, I probably got about eight, eight, um, uh, probably more than that. I probably got about 10, 10, 10 condensing coils at the house. Uh, maybe about the same amount in evaporator coils. So, uh, you know, I'll show you guys that to like, um, period. Also, the compressors, mm, uh, I don't know if I wanna, cause I'm also leaving the compressor cause the compressor is heavy and I can't do it. I don't wanna have all that heavy stuff at my house all those heavy compressors sitting in my uh, yard or in my garage and I don't want to have uh, the oil and uh, you know all that weight you know and trafficking on back and forth I don't want to go through the process it seems like more of a, a, a hassle than it is money because I think someone said you get about five dollars a compressor so I was just thinking ten compressors that's what 
I ain't, you know, I ain't no mathematician or nothing, you know, but that's only $50. And just thinking about the trip there with the compressor and then the trip back home, you know, and then thinking about all that weight on my truck, like, you know, I don't know if I want to do all that. I want, I want, I want my truck to last and all that stuff. You know, I keep it maintenance every year, but I still, I just don't want to put that much wear and tear on my personal vehicle scrapping. Now, I may rent a U-Haul or something. We may do it like that, rent a U-Haul and put the U-Haul to good use and, you know, use up their axles and they gas and oil and all that stuff but it's just to protect my personal truck since it's my personal vehicle as well at home so the compressors i don't think i'm gonna do that okay but uh and uh there's also been a good idea that we keep that i that, that, that i uh, maybe we get a storage unit somewhere near the shop and uh keep everything there instead of you know keeping everything at my house. So that may be a good idea too. Uh, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, I'm positive, but I'm gonna do that this year. But, you know, it's an idea, so let's see. Well, you guys, you guys just let me know what you think I should do. If one of you, just one of you let me know what it is, you know, what you think I should do, then I will uh, take that into consideration. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, it's starting to get hot out here, too. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Maybe it's just, no, uh, it's got the heat on. I think it's going to be like 45 degrees today. So, like I said, we don't have no job on us right now. Ain't nothing going on right now, so... Just okay guys so i did make it to the crib now and then i'm gonna go ahead and show you the equipment that we got right now and i'm gonna go ahead and show you the scrap that i got saved up right now okay got a long way to go and the, the season ain't even kicked off yet Hi. tink tinks Can I uh, you want to you know how you, you are here? yeah maybe so, this is what we got so far. We got one, two, three. We got three condensing units. We have three condensing units. And like I said, we got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven, eight, nine, about nine evaporator coils. And like I said, we got one, two, three, four, five. Then we got five coils already condensing coils already ready to go so let me show you what i was talking about about these coils what i gotta do so i got these right here stacked up and that's how i've been doing after at work after i break it down throw all the casing and everything away then i'll go ahead and i roll this up and bring this back home because then here at home all i'm gonna have to do is cut this off and then that will be considered an evaporator coil so that's the correct way that you, uh, you break down the scrap on those condenser coils. And the same thing with the uh, evaporator coils. You have to cut off this steel part right here and give them just that. And they'll take it as a radiator and you'll get some decent money off of it that way. Otherwise, if you don't take it off, then it's going to be like mixed and they're going to pay you the lesser metal, which would be that steel. And it probably ain't worth the coin, okay? Oh my God. So... You can see, I really don't know the difference or um, well, the difference in price yet as far as this. So we do got copper evaporator coils, right? But then we also got that, like the aluminum evaporator coil right there. Now, I don't know if I break that down the same way since it looks like most of it is aluminum. And uh, I don't know how much they give you being that it's a different metal uh, radiator still. So we'll figure that out next time we, uh, we, we make our trip. I appreciate you watching this video, okay? Like I said, if you watch it to the end, I really do appreciate that stuff because you know that's what helps out the YouTube algorithm. If you've been tuned in with me since the beginning, you know that we on a mission this summer to scrap everything we can scrap and see how much moolah we can make, okay? I'm trying to get this money and I'm gonna take y'all along for the ride so I can show you how you could do the same thing too, okay? So guys, appreciate you watching the video. 
definitely guys stay tuned because we're definitely gonna have more content coming up we're gonna have us a good summer this year and uh that's it guys if you got any comments or any questions like that or any advice for me to help me out it's always greatly appreciated guys stay tuned Bow. Yeah, we keep yeah, we it cheek and through your do your homework work. and see we deep out in the streets. streets. Only fam, Only nobody. Fam. Yeah, we keep yeah, we it cheek and through your homework and see we deep out in the streets.